On slide four, we have the main thing which we will try to understand today are the first two questions, right? So what is master data and why is it important? Master data is the key information required for operation of any business. Think about it as the core information related to the customers of your organization. It can be different products your company sells, the company of the employees of your company, for example, are the location where all these different entities are located. All these constitute as master data. Master data also extends to the reference data, such as country codes, states, province codes, type of the organization classification, industry codes, for example, uh, and different product types your company may be selling. Often represented as code types and value pairs, these reference attributes are either a common set used across organizations and countries sometimes are the ones which a company may use internally. They all constitute as reference data and they are part of the master data uh, which we talk about. The important point to note about master data is that it is often non-transactional in nature. In other words, you wouldn't classify customers uh, ATM transaction for example as master data, but you do take uh, customer's address, phone numbers, names, uh, different different variations of names, date of birth, uh, the, the privacy preferences uh, that the customer has, uh, the employment information, for example, tax identification numbers, etc. They all constitute as master data. Now, master data is important because it's, it's at the heart of every business transaction. It's the lifeblood of every application which exists in your company. Since every organization runs with an idea of a product, and selling that product to what we call customers, an accurate understanding of these two core master data entities is, is a very crucial thing. What also is important uh, are the entities that are linked to these customer and products, right? Uh, for example, the contract which, which the customer has with the company, the services which, which are offered by the, by the organization. Uh, are the location information where, where customer resides, right? All these are, are very key important pieces which constitute as mass data. All these entities are, are, are crucial because they are, effect, they, they are needed for effective running of your business. Now that we understand what master data is, let's look at what mass data management system are. Master data management is defined as the technology, tools, and processes required in creating and maintaining a consistent list of master data entities. An important thing about this list is that this has to be accurate so everyone in, the, in your company can use it. Right? So why this requirement of such a centralized system comes in? The challenge most of companies have is that the core information we call as master data is often scattered throughout the enterprise systems. For example, the customer data and the product an organization is selling are all spread across multiple applications which make it harder to maintain. Also, one will not be able to get a true picture of what this information looks like at any given point in time without a system like MDM. Master data management system basically goes and decouples this information and hosts, hosts, hosts that information, I'm sorry, post that information in a single repository. This obviously allows us to have a single view of uh, the master data, which is accurate and up to date. What this also helps us is in centralizing this information so we can uh, control its quality and, and uh, you know, improve the quality of it and also manage the changes effectively in one place. As you can see in this diagram, Data warehouse, ERP, e-business app, um, they all have different variations of the same customer, Mr. Jones, right? And, and one setup, MDM brings all this information about Mr. Jones in one place, so we can, we can look at it at, at, at just one single place with all the information integrated, uh, which, is, which, is, which is accurate. For example, his name, risk rating, preferences, contact information, addresses, etc are all in one single place now. MDM also provides you with tools and technologies needed for data standardization and cleansing. This is to make sure your data is represented consistently. For example, all addresses 
which belong to the customer are broken down into a street number, street name, city, state, zip code, which, which is kind of consistent represented at least here in the US. Right? In other words, basically you are creating a, 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 a consistent view of all these different entities of the customer. The other very important aspect of MDM when it comes to customer data is the ability to match records to identify duplicated customer profiles. And this is a powerful feature of MDM and, and, and that brings in a lot of value for many organizations. This slide shows you some of the top signs why you need an MDM solution. More often than not, need for MDM arises because of the bad data quality or data integrity issues your companies have. If your organization is full of spreadsheet jockeys and there are multiple databases in your organization storing same master data, you need MDM basically. Right? No ownership, um, for example, is another strong candidate for going to MDM. And if your management has major concerns about quality of the data and there is no auditing functionality in your existing systems, so you know who changed what and when they changed this data. If, if you don't have control over those kind of things, you definitely need MDM, right? And there are similarly many other reasons uh, which, which and, and there are similarly many other reasons which basically force you to go into MDM which are listed here. We just discussed how MDM creates a single version of the truth about core master information in a few slides before. What this means is all your business requirement where trusted information is required can now rely on MDM. Some of such requirements are your customer onboarding process, customer account management process, the new product introduction flow when it comes to product information management, and the order fulfillment process. And more importantly, Leverage these data assets in your business process will help you in remaining compliant with various federal requirements which countries have. It also allows you to simplify the reporting process. That's because now you don't have to go to 10 different systems keeping this data in a legacy format and you don't need to understand their data model and architecture which believe me is more complex than complex in time. This one is a very good depiction of what an end-to-end -end master data management brings to table. In the middle of this cycle, you have MDM tools and technologies. These tools are there to help you in enrichment, search, quality control, and stewardship of your master data entities. The entities are secured by a solid security layer, which is a huge plus. The tools also help you in hierarchical management of master data, which is one of the fundamental requirements of MDM. Once the system is in place, all your applications such as customer care, marketing, sales, financial planning system, billing system, etc. can leverage this data. This helps in applications function smoothly because now, now they have a better quality data which they can rely on. On the company-wide level, what this means is that the organization now has maximum customer satisfaction which leads to increased revenue opportunities, uh, better planning, optimized business, and obviously a high return on investment. Slide 9 talks about some of the information integrity facts and figures. So the major one is by Data Warehouse Institute, or TDWI as we call it. It's a premier educational institute for business intelligence and data warehousing. Uh, they estimate that the poor data quality costs about $611 billion to the companies. And let me tell you, that's a huge amount. Gartner, a leading technology research advisory company, says data quality is the main reason for failure of CRM projects. And IDC, which is International Data Corporation, says, uh, it's also another research company, by the way, and they say data quality is a huge challenge uh, next only to the budget constraints. Standards Group, is a Boston-based company which tells the same thing. And so are the many data quality experts um, and the MDM experts all around the globe. 
And by the way, I have a small link here which uh, which we, which you probably would like to bookmark because um, that's my Twitter uh, uh, list which I've created, which kind of um, you know helps you get information such as this. Uh, it's a small self promotion there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Slide 10 talks about business values of MDM. I will tell you a few real life examples here. One of the insurance companies where we implemented MDM was able to do four important things. One, they were able to effectively identify service and upsell to their customers. Secondly, they lowered the cost of business significantly. Three, they enhanced their customer service as they now have to just look at one system instead of looking at multiple lines of business data, which is spread across all the systems all around their enterprise. And four, they were able to manage customer data at an enterprise-wide level, which is a significant um, thing for them. Let's look at the retail side. A new product introduction is a huge challenge for retailers, uh, I mean, even today, right? With MDM, retailers are able to streamline their entire NPI process, they share the cost, and overhead associated with this rather tedious process and eliminate errors due to um, some things as simple as inaccurate mailing addresses, right? And they also are able to do an effective targeted selling. And on the manufacturing industry side, uh, two main challenges exist, right? There, there are huge challenges when it comes to understanding the buyers and sellers who are key parts of, part of their business. Uh, there is a lot of difficulty in looking at business from a global perspective. So with MDM, these manufacturers will be able to develop new buying, trading, and selling strategies based on an accurate view of their business dealings, uh, which is all across the world. Above all, MDM helps these organizations capture information such as privacy preferences and use it effectively to remain compliant with the law. By capturing risk-related information, uh, MDM also helps and proactively uncover an action against the fraud. 